So adjusting nose pads. Glasses always bothering you right here, sitting way too close to your br uh, brow line or whatever the problem is. We're going to dive a little bit more deeply into some things you can do to help with that. So I got another video up that's just kind of a brief outline and the audio wasn't that great. So now we're going to get back to this one finally. The short version is the pad adjustment on a metal frame can make all the difference in the world and how your glasses fit. So these I've actually kind of tweaked to make it a little bit bad. <laughs> I can't help myself. I can't make it too bad. But you can see they're sitting super, super close right there, which amounts to you get a greasy film right here across the top of the lenses. Nobody likes that. You have to wipe them 6,000 times a day. Super annoying. And real quick, we're going to zoom right on there. So that little connection point, the little metal arm you see there is, of course, the pad arm and then the nose pads themselves right here. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can adjust those. You can use your fingers. I don't recommend it because that puts a lot of pressure on the solder joint and those can pop right off. And that's not a situation you want to be in, especially if you're on your glasses and can't see without them. No other backup pairs. Don't do it. But otherwise, feel free to adjust however you wish or find somebody like me to do it for you hmm. now as i mentioned this is sitting super close super down low you can see it's even hidden there on the cheeks just a very simple adjustment we can actually fix that now the palliers i use are these you can see they're actually cut out here a little bit which works really well because you'll see here that actually just sits down right over it and actually fits really well you don't have to worry about scratching lenses or any sorts of bad things like that but just the right amount of bending and pressure there so we're going to bring these in a little bit which is going to raise the glasses up and we're going to bring them out just a hair as well which will work to bring the glasses out so now that we've done that the angle of them needs adjusted but you'll see now got plenty of clearance here at the brow not sitting down on the cheeks anymore so that raised the frame up brought it out and took care of that but now those angles are a little bit wrong and you'll feel that because it's going to create a pressure point on the bridge of the nose where it's sitting right here and over time that'll cause red marks sore spots just be super annoying and in fact even that quick you can see right there already that it's putting some serious pressure there just because that angle is so far off and you can see that so this one is good here but it's not quite sitting flush on that top so we're going to adjust that one that way just a hair and this one is so this one is okay this way but we've got kind of a cant this way to it which is not working well and that's what's causing that pressure there so we'll adjust that angle and again these pliers are the best for that now this is kind of a specialty set so they're not cheap unfortunately you can do these adjustments with these but you're more likely to slip scratch the lenses and again if you're putting pressure in the wrong place you're gonna snap that solder joint where it adjusts the frame but the great thing with these so you can very easily adjust the angle of that splay there as i was saying a second ago the can't of it or it's <laughs> can't can't work anyway so you can see that's much more flush all around now that's brought the frame up and out a little bit so it fixes all those issues i had to start with now of course if you want to do the same thing and screw that all up super easy you just spread them apart a little bit now because i didn't bring those in you'll see we're still good here on the brow but now it's really tight and close down here again just where it is sitting a little bit lower so that's a way to lower it is just by spreading those out or in will raise or lower how high it sits right here on the bridge of the nose and of course if you need to move it over either way you can make that happen very easily same thing so kind of the trick here you do want that to be about the bridge width apart and where it is is going to determine how high or low that rides now you do want to be careful about that if you wear a progressive lens you can raise it up too high and you'll actually be looking out of the progressive off at a distance that's going to distort your world it's going to bring things up a little bit closer but also it's going to make things really blurry because you're going to be looking out of that little tiny spot in the channel without really any distance part of the lens What's kind of funny about that, if you're needing new glasses, you can cheat and do that to get by for a little while. 
if you're a hyper rope and you need more plus at a distance. Works great. I didn't tell you that. So, if you need more plus and you just need to get by for another week or so, just bring that up just a hair. Throws off everything, but you can see a little bit more clearly. Better off just getting new glasses, but hey, stuff happens. I get it. Whatever. So. Now, as far as that goes, again, you do want to be super careful. I see it all the time. I've seen opticians do it. I've done it myself once. These guys right here, we all have them sitting around somewhere in the toolbox. Somewhere. They're there. You might not be able to find them, but they're there. So the problem with that is, again, as I mentioned earlier, that other one has a cutout, so it actually fits down over this little section right here, so you don't have to worry about slipping off. You can do the same thing with these, but because now, instead of gripping right over that pad, you actually have to grab that arm itself. And you can see the difference there. So that doesn't actually fit down over it. It is super easy to roll that, slip it off, scratch across that lens, and you see where that was? Look where that falls. Where are you gonna scratch the lenses if you do that? Right there, every time. Trust me, every time. Right where you see out of them. <laughs> it's just inevitable. When you mess up, you mess up good. So that's a little bit more detailed version of the adjustments you can make to the pads to move the frame up, down, left, right, in, out, or even just change the angle of the pads to take pressure off in a certain spot. Now, as always, I recommend going to an optician that knows how each little tiny tweak affects the frame overall, because if you adjust here, inevitably you're going to mess up how it fits behind the ears as well. But, you know, sometimes things just aren't fitting right and you can't get to the optician or the optician can't get to you or both or whatever whatever the case may be that's how it is so there's a few little tips to get you by if needed until you can get to somebody like me or if you're just a diy kind of person and you don't want anybody else touching your glasses i don't recommend that but hey i'm one of those and that's why i'm here so there's anything else any suggestions you've got let me know if this helped definitely let me know below or if you'd like more details about a certain aspect of the adjustment of the glasses or anything in particular let me know but if the glass if the video helps with your glasses or anything i've done does follow along by subscribing ring the bell all that good stuff definitely give me a like and leave your feedback down below love seeing the feedback helps me keep the videos going so see you next time